Okay, welcome back to another Panzermatos Tank Dating Simulator. Oh, the romance is blossoming in this one. With all the crazy... Where's my pills? I need my crazy pills again. Half hour crazy pills, yep, but I'm sure we're going to get plenty of that in the next video. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Where do we leave off? Oh yes, we got ran over by a tank, nearly died. And immediately encountered a crazy tank, IS-2, who is playing a weird game. We don't know what the game is, and she wants us to take her to a out, out somewhere. I'm not sure where she wants to take us out to. So, let's go! You and IS-2 walk down the street. She keeps trying to brush her hand against you for hers. Oh, she's such an affectionate one. Obviously, she isn't the master of subtlety. Where are we? Come on, Erwin. Let's get that drink. Are you young, too young for alcohol? She pulls you into the bar by the hand. Obviously, you too. You don't have much in twist, Miss Better. Ah, wow, this is swanky. The bar is dimly lit. It smells of sweet alcohol. And do I smell cosmoline? What is that term? I never heard of cosmoline at all. I'm guessing gasoline of some kind. In the background, a beat up radio plays soft jazz. Ah, yes. IS2 leads you to the bar counter where a crusty bearded man peers out at you from behind an open bottle of vodka. His eyes meet IS2's and he takes a swig. Apparently he's, she's been here before and he knows exactly how to deal with her. Lots of alcohol. <laughs> no. What can I get you, Tavarish? Tavarish. The usual. And everyone here will will have cover juice, something hard, whatever she's having. Ein Glas Wasser, bitte. Hmm. Oh, what's her usual? Something... Ah, whatever she's having. Hit me. <gasps> All right, two white Russians. Make them double. Oh, crap. This does not bode well, my friends. Wait, double? Come on, let's unwind after a long first day. Just you and me and some vodka. She winks and laughs. Oh, well, okay, sure. It's down with the glass. I'm not like, sure if that's even... Is that language? I'm hoping that's language. I mean, there's, there's plenty of English going on in this, so let's hope that's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't recognize it. What? This is... Oh, okay, it's so Now that looks... Well, I'm not going to try to get into it. I have no idea what that was. Sika. Woo, that's good. Sika. Oh, God. You start to take a sip of your drink. You know what's my favorite maneuver? Oh, no, no, oh, no. Why am I doing this game? Uh, why, 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 why? I, why did I think this was going to be a good game? You took her your drink. <laughs> what? It's true. It's so effective, especially when the enemy isn't expecting it. You press the attack, make it lines from behind. I apologize, yours have taught me that. Um, uh, girl, you need to call the police and tell them. <laughs> what about you? Do you have any favorite maneuver? Hack, <laughs> cough, wheeze. Uh, well, looks good. Coughing? Try to cover up the fact that you don't want to say it or you really want to avoid the conversation entirely. Let's cough. Me too. 
I like chucking them out of the resources. They'll pay for the disloyalty to throw to you. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Oh, my gosh. No. Loyalty? Rodina? Yes, it means a lot to me and my family. People keep leaving me. I'm sorry, I asked too. But you didn't leave me. You can with me now. You're great, Erwin. She slaps you on the back. Ow! It's spilling your drink. Don't spill, silly. Finish your drink and let's dance. I kind of can't breathe. I really don't dance. I can't breathe. Can't breathe still. <laughs> you spoil sport. That's okay, you can watch. They'll be picking up my armored skirt. She makes her way to the musky floor of the most empty bar and begins to dance. Saxophone laced in you. What? Apparently they didn't have the budget for a saxophone laced music, so they said, just think of it on your own. You know what it means. Yeah, I asked you about this. Did I say about dancing in the bar? Ugh, all right. So, you like your first day at tank school? It was weird, really. I'm having trouble getting over the fact that you're a tank. Duh, cutie. Why else would I be there? I don't know, to go to school normally. I can get a little psychopath that you are. Well, for you, it makes sense. You're a tank. A cute tank. Yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely cute. I knew it. Let's drink. I see we have class in the morning. That's right. Class in the morning. We have vodka right now. Save me. She likes her drinks. Maybe a little too much. Suddenly an old sounding song comes on the radio. And if you reach into the bar, bring the toast and sing. that I walked into. Wait a second. Isn't that the Soviet National Anthem? There's no German. There is no German in here. It's, it's Soviet. Zara Stalina. You can see a single solitary tear rolling down the bartender's cheek. Bridget, your patriotism belongs in another time to Barish. I Russian too? Erwin seems more Germanic, but Song that down, the most people just out of the bar. I'm gonna head home. Erwin, want my number? Wanna know where I live? Wanna know where my bed looks like? Wanna know where my room looks like? Please no. Sure. That's not eight six seven five three oh nine. So okay. Call me, won't you? She gets up from her seat and winks at you as she walks out of the bar. Whoo! He finished the last of your drink. The bartender puts down a cigarette. I don't think you're allowed to smoke a bar in Japan. It's also against the bar rules to be a little stupid, whatever in a bar, but not throw you out yet, da. Right. Have a nice night. You leave the bar and start walking back to your house. Whoo! We went away home, trekking across the entire town to get there. Damn, that girl dragged me far, you mother, as you approached the apartment. What a nut, anyway, seriously. You open the front door and go upstairs to your room. I'll tell you, door. You sit on your bed and take your shoes off one by one. How do you know? I mean, could she have been any more forward? Oh, and I'm probably going to see her at school tomorrow, too. I need to figure out what your deal is. She be nuts. That's her deal. Well, what ain't well, any of us take school stuff is. Can't exactly ask the sergeant. The sherman doesn't much help. Wait, I never mentioned a manual. I bet there's a surplus store in town with all that stuff. I'll go there tomorrow. They, they've got to know something at least. A surplus store? You literally head back on a pillow, fall fast asleep before you even know it. And you put away the dreams of all the crazy women that you're about to meet in the morning. And hope and pray that you will not get 
run over and kill the divine M again. This is a, oh my head. Back to dang school. Great. Gotta figure out what the hell's going on today. If I hurry, I can probably stop by the commander's office before some fast starts. Cheers to your health. And here we are. Huh, it does say thanks to go right on the sign. She wasn't lying. Still, it's weird as hell. Now, where was that admin office? Gotta make sure I'm in the right school in the first place. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, wait, here it is. Just as you're about to open the door, you're greeted by. Where do you think you're going, maggot? Ah. You're two seconds away from getting smoked, recruit. Sergeant, this recruit wanted to speak to Commander regarding his placement in this school, Sergeant. Do you not like to train, recruit? Do you not like me? I'm offended. I'll smoke your ass while your base fire crew will come running. The base fire crew will come running. Okay. I will bottle your tears and drink it on my next run. Now get to class. All right, Sergeant. You salute. Walk down the hall towards your classroom. Well, shit, that didn't do any good. I guess the triple store is the new plan. I'll see by there after class. I think I know something out at least. You reach the classroom, walk inside, taking a seat next to, uh, besides, same thing, and for Sherman. Uh, yo, new guy, looks like you did come back. After all that? Yeah. Hey, 234s, you see that? You owe me 500 yen. What? We were taking bets that you wouldn't show back up. Looks like I'm five bucks richer. Tori replied, Okay, Sergeant Hartman enters the room. Hatchers closed, tanks, and mouth shut. Recruit. The terminology is wonderful. This is going to be a long day. A few hours later. There's supposed to be one more chime. They don't, I don't know why they cut it out. Classroom empty is at the sound of the bell, and tanks are all chatting in the hallway. And that day of class we're with. I guess I should figure out where that surplus store is before I go off searching for it. Ah, who do I ask though? The other end of the hallway you see Panzer IV, T-34 back in their school bags. Oh, it's a German girl, tank girl, thing. And the other Russian one. I guess I can ask one of them. Oh, excuse me. Let's see, the one who's happy to see me or the one who's grumpy to see me? I don't want to go the happy routes in this. I think there is actually some routes that you can actually go and try to get with each of these girls. I want to go the... It's already crazy as it is. Let's just go nuts. Ask T-34. Um, T-34, right? Da, what do you want? Besides, I've already had the Russian integration drink program last night, so eh, why not? I'm kind of lost. Do you know where the surplus store is? Yes. Why? You don't have to get so upset about it. I mean, you don't need a teardrop right there for crying out loud. Oh, um, I need to find it. Uh huh. Oh, come on, Shorty. Just give it up. Cry out loud. And I'm guessing you need my help finding it. Well, that'd be nice. That it would. All right, let's go. Ah, T-34 leads it down the busy Akihabara streets. Anime billboards, girls dressed, as French, girls dressed as French maids, and bustling tourists are everywhere. Yes, they are. As you walk along, T-34 seems oddly quiet. Hey, um, so thanks for showing me the way. Don't mention it. Like, seriously, don't mention it. Ever. Do you dislike me or something? No, I... Ah, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, because I could probably find it from here if, Erwin, you're fine, but I was wondering something, yeah, sure, why are you here, uh, why are you here at tank school, 
Well, that's a kind of funny question. I mean, that's why I'm going to the store. Ah, well. To be perfectly honest, I'm still in, like, tank shock over the whole thing. It's not really... That wasn't a catchy joke that I was supposed to be, be one. Yeah, yeah, very clever. Tank shock. I think I haven't heard that joke before. It wasn't a joke. It was, it was very feeble attempt at any humor at all. I mean, shell shock would have been... Sort of more appropriate, even. But, uh... But you're a turtle in a green uniform. Huh? Oh, thanks, Shark. That, that was supposed to be a pun, but I'm using that one from now on. No, Erwin, no. Stop. No. No. Erwin, back. Zing! Back it up. Back it up. That was bad. Do not piss on that. Please don't. Yes. Yes, Erwin. Anyway. Oh, she smiled finally. Yeah, she is a little cutie. I'm sure you feel out of place here. <laughs> yeah, just imagine if you went to infantry school. I'd crush everyone. <laughs> you are a hip team in that department, I suppose. Despite your size. All right, yeah. So, your ISIS 2 sister, IS, so many ISIS. You are IS 2 sister, right? We're cousins, distant ones. Bad blood? Bad family. Just try sitting to a family reunion with Stalin and his daughter. Who the crap was I drinking with last night? Oh, cripes. Wait, do you mean. What do you think IS stood for? Intricate Slavs? Ah, uh, well, I never thought it meant Losef Stalin. Yosef? Oh, Yos oh, okay, Yosef Stalin. Fortunately, Crazy only runs in that half of the family. Ha, huh, I never really know much about my family. I know my grandfather was a war hero, but my fa when my father moved to America, we changed our names, so I I've never been able to find out who he was. The more. What's that anyway? French? German, I think. Ha, we well, got the worst German I've ever met. Thanks. Been a lot of Germans in your time? You can say that. I'm sure they're not good terms either. Hey, there's Super Store. Oh, do you want to come in? No, it's fine. I'm opposed to war now. She's a tank pacifist? Okay. Opposed to war? What about the annexation of Crimea? That's not war. That was liberation of the Russian speaking minority. <laughs> well, there's some propaganda for you right there. Do propaganda. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's not taking through the war. You too, Erwin. Before he walks out down the road, leaving you alone in front of the store. What a world weird girl. Each one is crazier than the last. I don't know, at least. Sherman's off the wall. Panzer IV is a flippin' weeb. IS-2 is... Well, Tiger one is a loose cannon. Or, excuse me, loose treads. No, excuse me. A... Ah, whatever. Same, same problem. So, IS-2. <laughs> Bonkers. T-34. Eh, she's pretty normal. What a weird girl. Each one was crazy. Last, I, I thought I said that. I'm sorry. You walk into the circle store... Inside the walls are lined with weapons from various eras. And towards the back, you can see some bookshelves stocked with what looks like field manuals and films. About to get some answers. A few other customers mill about the store, and a bored looking shopkeeper sits behind the counter. Sheesh, I've got to be in here. At least everything seems normal. A shopkeeper looks up as near the counter. Welcome to Carius Surplus. Can I help you with anything? Uh. <laughs> Why would I want to buy headlight fluid? Who am I inserting that into? I... No, I don't even want to go there. Stop. Oh, no. Uh... I mean, this better be the headlight fluid. It's something like this. This is headlight fluid, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Do that eyedropper on the girl. And who knows, maybe the girl will get, be really pleased that I did some eye drops onto her eyeballs. I don't know. Maybe she'll be really pleased. But come on. Stop talking about headlight fluid. Tell me about tank girls. Tell me about the school. 
Ah, let's go see what's first. Hey, about the tank school, Tanner. Can you tell me more about it? Sure, I can, but let me, let me do better. I have a regular customer in right now who actually works at the school. Not a good sign. Hey, Sarge, I have someone who wants to know more about, about your school. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, sweet St. Mary on the hood of the Mercedes Benz. What? A surprise. Recruit Lemur, isn't it? Yes, sir. I was not expecting him here. Hey, don't you dare, sir, me. Check your eyes or I'll move them from your sockets. Here, yes, Sarge. What's in your hand? Can I um, ask about the school? Perhaps sounds like a bad idea. I don't want to know what's in this hand. I want to know about the school. Hey, sorry, I'm curious about something. All right, make a quick recruit. I may be your sergeant, but I'm not your mother. I wouldn't want him as my father, much less my mother. I noticed that the school has a very interesting student body. Suddenly, the sergeant's face turns from a frown to a sly grin. Oh, I see. You mean the girls, right? Like, what have you seen so far? He elbows you in the ribs. A little too hard. Look. Well, it certainly is not what I expected, to say the least. Neither was it for me. But like they taught you a basic, adapt and overcome. Uh, not like they have much of a choice at this point. Maybe I should get, try to get in touch with the administration again. Figure out why the hell I'm here. It's all right. I have another question for you. You don't really need to ask him the question anyways. You know? you uh, how long have you worked at the school? What's your story? That's That seems a little too personal to ask uh, directly to a gunny sergeant. Uh, let's see how long he's worked at school. Since the school was founded a year ago, and since I was taken off the front line, I didn't want to be a drill instructor originally. They told me this was an experimental type of thing. Experimental of what? It's me. I'm not here to question orders. Just here to train. Let me ask you something, recruit. How much experience with tanks? Sergeant. No, not really. What? Well, the question is it's not real specific, not real good either. So I'll just say just the basic. Uh, a little basic training. Ha! I knew you weren't that much of a little poof. So tell me, what you look like? Hey, Sergeant, um, are we talking about the same thing here? We're talking about, the, I was in the tank in basic training, yes, but um, not in the tank like these other girls are. I, I just want to ask you, are, are you sure you know what you're talking about? Just, I just got to ask. Uh Gee, Sergeant, what are we talking about? Well, maybe this will straighten you out, recruit. He hands you the DVD that he held tightly in his hands at the beginning of the conversation. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to look at the title. No! Triple X, Amorax, that's a picture of the mild, super heavy tank on the cover. No! What? Sergeant, is this? He slaps you on the back laughing. It's the only gift you're getting, recruit, so enjoy it. He laughs himself. He's walked out the store waving goodbye to the shopkeeper. This place keeps getting weirder and weirder. You tuck the TV under your arms. No! Give it back. No, just say, sir, I, I found this on the floor. Please, just take it. Please, just take it. No! Oh my gosh. You ain't doing it strong in this one. <laughs> Back in the street, daily has turned to night. The bustle of tourists is replaced by the bustle of slightly more intoxicated tourists. What, the Japanese don't drink? Please. After work, they drink. It's rocking through home, through Akihabara. You hear a voice calling out from behind you.